Hi everyone, it's Evie and Julian here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the GSI Outdoors Selkirk Camp Stove here at eTrailer.com. These are dual burner propane camp stoves, great for larger meals. So let's say your friends, your family, you all are out camping and you want some hot fresh food, this might be an option for you. Now there are two versions of the GSI Selkirk camp stove. Here in front of me is the 460, which is the smaller version. And beside me is the 540 camp stove. Now both of these work exactly the same. They have the same functions. The main differences between the two are the sizes as well as how the lids work. So each camp stove has dual burners with a high heat output. So that means we have 10,000 BTU per burner. That high heat output is very important because of two reasons. So the first is this will allow you to conserve fuel. You'll have more heat output while using less fuel. Another reason is that will allow you to cook your food more quickly or more efficiently compared to let's say burning a log in the middle of the forest. We have exterior panels that provide a windscreen while cooking. Now this has the design of on the side, you can push these out to create a windscreen or fold them back in for more portability. On the back of the 460, you have this larger windscreen with a hinge that allows it to be put all the way down. The lid on the 540 cannot tilt all the way down. Instead, you can just lift it up and release it from the stove. On the lid, as well as your side panels, you're gonna have a tab that's gonna hold it in place. This is great, especially for gusty days when you want them secure and you don't want them flying away. Now, when you are cooking, you might be concerned about how easy this is to clean. So the way this works is you have a durable steel grate here on the top, so you can wipe that down. You can also just lift it right off your stove and of course make sure it's cool as you do so. From there, that's where you can wipe it down. Here for the lid, you have a powder coated exterior case. This is also made of steel, so it is durable, but that powder coat is nice because it will reduce you know, smudges and dirt and scratches on it. Now the gas canister is not included with this stove, so you're gonna have to pick that up separately. Um, let's take a look at that process. So first you're gonna pick up your fuel canister and you're gonna to wanna to have a top that looks like this, which is on most fuel canisters because that's gonna fit with your regulator assembly. Next, you open up your fuel stove. So we'll take it off of its latch and lift up on the lid and then set it in the upright position by attaching the side panel windscreens. Once your stove is ready, then attach your fuel regulator assembly. So that's gonna be inside your stove. And then just put that onto the nipple on that stove. Turn that coupling clockwise to hand tighten that down. Once that is in place, you then rotate this regulator assembly upright. And that's gonna be what you're gonna attach your propane to. Now before you attach, just note that this has to be at an angle at the end and it can't be upside down. So once you have that aligned, you then twist it onto that fuel regulator assembly. Note that there may be some fuel that escapes as you turn it, so just keep going until you have it hand tight. Once you have this all installed, just double check that all of your connections are secure and that they are tight. Also, please check for leaks using soapy water. You can just get that water on there. And if there's any bubbles, there will be a leak. So don't use fire and you can use soapy water. But once that's done, you can go on to the next step. Once everything is set up, you then lift up on the front of the stove to catch onto the handle underneath and put your thumb over that red ignition button. Then you turn the fuel adjuster valve half a turn clockwise and then press ignition. Now you aren't gonna see any flames like a gas stove, but there's definitely heat coming out there and that's how you know it's working. Now that you know how to use your Selkirk camp stove, let's get cooking. Today we're gonna be cooking some mac and cheese. So we're gonna start by boiling some water. So let's see how fast or how long it takes to boil two cups of water. So we're gonna turn on our stove. And now we're gonna wait for it to boil. Now 
All right, it took two minutes and 36 seconds for it to start violently boiling. So that's pretty fast. Now I'm gonna put some mac and cheese, not the whole box, but just enough for the amount of water we have. I'm actually using the GSI Minimalist Spoon to stir this up. This actually works really well with GSI's other cooking utensils and pots and pans. So now we wait 11 minutes or until our pasta is soft. Now that our pasta is tender, we're going to turn this off and let it cool just a little bit. Now you can use a strainer, but what I'm just going to use because I'm using GSI equipment is to strain it with this fork into our Halulite Minimalist cup. Now that our pasta is ready, we're just going to add the cheese and then that's it. We're ready for eat our meal. Now, unlike a grill, what I notice with this stove is that since our heat is going up, I'm not feeling any heat underneath the stove at all. So underneath your stove, there's going to be a handle and you are going to have to lift up on the stove a little bit. Now, when the burner was on, this top part wasn't hot, so I could hold on to it. Now, this is so that you can press in the ignition without pushing the stove off the table. It's an okay feature. I still think that lifting it up was not as safe if you have a pot on there already, but just keep that in mind. Now, if you want to compare this maybe with the popular camp stoves that are out there, I think this matches up to the price it's at. Everything works together. GSI Outdoors has a bunch of different cookware as well as stoves. So if you have those other cookware, you have those other accessories, these are a good pair. They work together as one good cohesive unit. So keep that in mind. If you want a whole new set, GSI Outdoors is a pretty good option. Now the big difference between this and the other camp stove is the size. Now both of them can fit 8 to 10 inch diameter pots and pans, which is nice if you're cooking for a large group. I actually have a 5.5 inch diameter pot, and if you notice, if you have it on the middle, this is going to tilt down just like that, which is not ideal. So keep that in mind, it would work a lot better with your larger pots and pans or with GSI cookware that adheres or has a little bit more traction on your stove. So my final thoughts about the camp stove is that I was very impressed by how much heat this output as I was cooking. I actually had to turn the burner to the lowest setting just because it was boiling my water too quickly. So that was very impressive. I definitely see that being useful when you are cooking a large meal and you want it fast. Now it's pretty windy here at E Trailer, so I was impressed by this windscreen that came with the camp stove. It stayed in place and helped protect my cookware as well as my food. Now the ignition didn't work at first the one time and I needed to use a lighter just to make sure that it was outputting heat. So just keep that in mind, maybe have a spare just in case. As for the temperature valves, I really liked how easy they were to use and I could also see how much and how little of the propane I was outputting. They were not gummy at all, even with grease and oil on them, so that was a really nice feature. But all in all, the camp stoves were lightweight, they were portable, very easy to set up and use. All you need is propane and you're ready to get cooking. So that was a look here at our GSI Outdoor Selkirk Camp Stoves here at eTrailer.com.